What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today <laughs> Today we're going to be putting the car on the lift over there. It's going to be the first time the car's on the lift in our ownership to be honest. We've never had any issues so never had to put it on there. Um, but we're going to be tackling the prop shaft and because it needs to be chopped down, shortened and we need to do the gear linkage and then there's other bits and bobs but now we're just clearing underneath the car to get it on the floor and then we're going to put it over on the lift should be exciting to see what hiding underneath there all right so we got it up on the ramp that was a mission <laughs> getting it from over there around here turning it around with the wise fab arm it just did not want to push <sighs> it look it looks a bit sketchy because i had to put bits of wood under the front bits but should be all right should be all right first time properly looking underneath it to be honest it's not too bad it's not too bad I need to take this prop shaft out and i need to make that gear linkage as well I need to cut it and weld it so that it's level with that one probably do that first here we have the prop shaft for the zf this flange here is much bigger than the one on the get rag so you if you're ever going to run a ZF, you need to, uh, the front part, the rear part is the same. It's just the front part. So this, I'm going to have to probably chop like a section out here and then try and get a sleeve over it of some sort. I think it'll be best chopping here anyway, I don't know. I don't know whether to chop here or here. Hmm, don't know, we will figure that out. I've got a new one of these as well. If you're doing any of this, always put a new one of these on. All right, so obviously this is the gear selector rod. You have to shorten it. Um, mine is that much too long so I'm just going to chop this off chop this section out and then re-weld this section to here hopefully my measurements are correct because I only have one of these <laughs> there we go got it shortened now now I just need to make sure it's straight and welded up right so we got the shifter rod welded up and in there I've lost this clip I think it's in the car so I'll check in a bit but yeah, we should have gears now. Um, we're just about to put the diff back in so that I can measure up the prop shaft. And then we'll start chopping that down. That's a bit that I am sketched out a bit, but should be all right. We've got the, the diff, diff King here. He's obviously a certified diff mechanic. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna put you guys down. All right. all right, so I've put the prop shaft on with the new Guibo. I've tightened it up so that I can get an accurate measurement and basically as you can see this is the center bush that's how much I've got to chop so it's not much I've pulled this out a smidge because it's adjustable so better to do sounds stupid but it's better to do this a bit shorter than longer because if it's longer it's not going to work but if it's a little bit shorter you can adjust it with the rear of this prop shaft um, but basically I'm just going to measure from the center of this bolt to the center of here and that's how much i'm going to chop out of here so i'm going to do that measure it about 30 times to make sure i don't do it wrong because this piece here is about 350 quid so i don't want to mess it up <laughs> all right i'll go back to you in a sec all right so we've got it all cleaned up now on mine i need to chop uh 39 mil so basically I'm not sure where I need to work out where to chop and stuff but yeah basically I need to shorten it by 39 mil I'm gonna chop it chop the bit off I'm gonna slide a sleeve of steel over it and then put it, put it back up weld it smooth the welds off slide the sleeve over and weld the sleeve that's the plan anyway see how it goes right so probably wouldn't recommend doing this because Prop shafts have to be measured up perfectly, but we've run out of budget, so we're doing it the old fashioned way. We got a bit of paper, wrapped it round to get the line straight. Now I'm gonna angle grind it. Pray for me. <laughs> right, so we've welded it all up. I just ground it down flush again. What are you doing, you weirdo? <laughs> gonna shit himself. And then we've got this steel sleeve on. Ow, that's hot. And then that slides over the welds i'm going to clean it up and weld either side of it is it straight 
No idea. We'll soon find out. Probably wonky as hell. Seems alright, but let's clean this up and I'm just gonna I ticked the inside ones but I'm just gonna probably mig the outside ones. <sighs> let's do it. We just test fitted it as well and it fits, so There we go, it's all welded. I shaved some of the welds down just to try and even the weight out a little bit so that it's not too off balance, but yeah. Now I'm just gonna give her a quick paint and then put a popper in the car. Right, so I do have all the drivetrain hooked up. I'll show you that in a minute. I have been cracking on with some other bits. I put this coolant pipe here, looped from the head to going down there into the block. Um, that's where you would plumb your heater matrix, but currently I'm not going to. I will do that in the future, but can't be bothered with that right now. Um, got all of the pipes hooked up. Actually got coolant in the radiators as well. The only thing is this clamp's a little bit too big, so I've ordered a smaller one because it seems to be leaking from here. No one else, nowhere else. And now I'm just making the throttle cable. So... I've snipped this off of the original E36 one um, and that will just go in there like so. It's going to require a bit of force to get in there but that will go there. Ross is hiding under the car. Look at that freshy hoodie. Jeez. I'll be releasing these soon. I'm just, I don't know what I'm waiting for. I'm just can't be bothered at the moment. but. Yeah, DM me on Instagram if you do want one of these because I'll be posting them soon. Freshy, the GZ36, mate. Um, but yeah, this is my plan. Whether it's going to work or not, I don't know. But I'm going to use a bicycle brake cable. If that's too short, then I'll use the gear one. But the brake one's a bit fatter, so I'd rather use the brake cable. And then I've got some outer here as well. I'm going to pull the factory E36 one off and then put this one through, see if it reaches. Hopefully it does, that'll save some money. But let's give this a go quick. There we go. Put two little clamps on there. And then, jobs are good and she's tight. It works. Nicely rooted down around there and goes down into firewall. It was perfect. I'll show you what I've done on the inside. I must say this was horrible because I was upside down in here. But wait for it to focus. There we go. See, I've got two cables, one pinch in the original one and one pinch in the well, they're both pinch in the both cables. I've doubled them up so that there's less chance of it ever slipping. But yeah, the one coming in is a bicycle cable, and then I chopped the 36 one just probably to about 10 mil long just enough to clamp onto it and works perfect. I need to adjust the bump, the stop there just a tiny bit because the throttle body can open up a tiny bit more. So I just adjust that in a little bit and then my good jobs are good in. Jobs are good in. But yeah, look at the space I had to work. I literally went upside down, down and there. I had my feet up here. My the clutch pedal was on my forehead, <sighs> but it's done. Also got the downpipe on, but I'm not going to show too much of that. You'll have to wait for one of the next videos. And we've also got intercooler showed up, which will be in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, so happy that's done. Crap. I'm just also adding a few switches. So we've got three, three switch wires here. Uh, I'm going to route them into the cabin so we can have like two step and different maps and different things like that. So I don't know why I didn't do it before, but I'm doing it now anyway. All right, so there we go. It's all the prop shaft in. It's nicely mated up there. Can't even tell me it's been welded and chopped. All spins. All does its job. The wheels turn in. Look at that. It's not all fully tight yet, it's all just hand tight, but also poly bushed the trailing arms on the bottom ones and the top. Yeah, it's looking good, mate. Hopefully, 
I mean, I don't know how straight it's going to be, but we won't know until we actually drive the car and see if it wobbles all over the place. Got a new Guibo as well. All the gears go into gears. It's banging. Looks lovely under here. Ooh, what's that? Nice. Right, that's going to be it for today's video. We got the drivetrain all hooked up, which was a huge success. Coolant system all done. Throttle cable made. Um, I tried making the bonnet latch cable as well, but I lost my temper and we'll be continuing that another day. <laughs> uh, what else did we do? Yeah, re refreshened up the rear end a little bit, some new bushings and some new bits and bobs. But yeah, next week we will be installing the intercooler. That should be fun. Um, and then after that we'll be doing the exhaust. And then, the car's done really, pretty much. Say a week or so and it's probably done. It's weird. <laughs> Excited to drive it though. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.